Welcome to part two of my tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to, so you finished your hat, we do that in part one. If you haven't done part one yet, please see part one of this tutorial. Um, it's in the description below and I also have it attached to this video. Um, it's also on a playlist. So we're now doing part two. We're going to be adding on these little uh, accents. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make them and then how to stitch them on. So we're going to start with this first black circle. So what we're going to do, I'll leave that right there. <clears throat> we're going to create a magic circle again. So step one, we're going to create that magic circle. Lay that in your hand. Leave this tail kind of long. Pinch it underneath that finger. Using your hook, go under, pull that yarn through. Okay. So now we're going to uh, chain three. One, two, and three. And now um, into this magic circle, we're going to uh, do 11 double crochets. Let's go into that circle and we're doing 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so now we're going to pull this tighter. Not all the way tight though. Okay, so we've got like that little half half circle there. Now we're going to pull it together. So you're going to slip stitch into that chain. And pull through. And we're going to pull that thread from the center of the circle, nice and tight. And that's the beginning. So now we're going to go around and we're going to do two double crochets into every stitch. So chain three. Now two double crochets into each stitch. There's one, two, and go into the next stitch and do two. One and two. So you're going to continue doing that all the way around and I'll meet you here. So I made it around and now we're going to slip stitch into that chain and we've created that circle. So um, if you'd like it to be bigger, you're welcome to do another row all the way around. Um, and I would probably do two double crochets into every stitch again with a single crochet, maybe not a double. If you do a double, it would be quite a bit larger. Um, <clears throat> but for this hat, I'm just going to stick with um, this size for the lens. Um, so we're going to snip that off and leave this long because we're going to need to stitch this into the hat at the end. And then we just pull this through, make a nice little knot. Okay, that's going to hide well behind. And we've got that. So um, now if you'd like to add this little glint or um, lens flare, if you will, whatever you want to call it, 
um, this is how we do that. So um, just need a little piece of white yarn. And we're just going to tie a knot and then tie a second knot. If you want it bigger, you can tie three knots, okay, however you want to do it. And <clears throat> we're going to just take this, attach this tapestry needle, and then just put it wherever on the hat, on the, um, on this eye or lens or whatever you want to call it that looks good to you. So I'm going to put it in there. Touch it on this side. And then just push it in just like one stitch away. And then hold that knot as you pull through. So there it is. We've got that on there. And that's optional. You can also add the color red um, and any, any color that you'd like. I've seen different pictures of BB-8 with different possibly different lights colors shooting out of there. All right, and then I'm just gonna leave this kind of long and I will end up just hiding it behind when I'm stitching it on. Uh, we're gonna stitch it on in just a minute. For now, we're going to make, we're gonna set that aside with this hat. So that we finished this lens, we're gonna be doing this smaller lens. So it's gonna be similar to um, this one that we did, just a little bit different. You're going to lay it in your hand, the yarn in your left hand or opposite hand. Wrap it around underneath that, pinch it underneath that finger. Should be a pro at magic circles by now. <laughs> All right, so go under, grab that piece, pinch it, and bring the working yarn back here. So um, this time we're doing a different stitch than what we've done before. Uh, we're going to chain. Uh, we'll just chain two this time. And we're going to do, um, now we're going to be doing half double crochet into this stitch. Um, so half double crochet is a little bit different. Half double crochet, you're going to wrap it around like a double crochet. You're going to go through the stitch, pull it through. So now you have three stitches on the hook. Um, now instead of just going through two and then going through two, you're going to actually grab the yarn and go through all three. And that's a half double crochet. So we're going to repeat that nine more times. So you have your chain and then you're going to do ten half double crochets into this circle. So wrap it around, pull through all three. Wrap it around, go through, Got the three on there, pull through all three. So keep going until you have the 10 on there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so now you're gonna pull that tighter. We're gonna slip stitch into that chain. Okay, so there we are with that. So now we're gonna change the color to white. We'll tie a little knot on there. Pull it down. All right, and we're also going to pull the center of that circle nice and tight. There we go. So now uh, we'll pick up the white, chain two, one, and two. Pull that black piece down. 
All right, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do one or two single crochets into each stitch. So come in this first one. Um, oh, a, one, a single crochet. I realize we haven't done this yet. Okay, a single crochet. You go into the stitch, pull through. So you've got two on the hook. Wrap around and pull through. So there we go. We're going to do two double cro cro or two single crochets into each stitch, all the way around, and I will meet you um, right here. All right, so um, now we're going to slip stitch. And pull through. And then we're going to change color, oops, to gray. these kind of nice and long just so that we have plenty of space to stitch stuff in that we need to or, or otherwise okay so now we're gonna pick up that gray pull that white down and now we're just gonna do a slip stitch with the gray all the way around into every stitch so we're gonna slip stitch Oops, I didn't quite get that full stitch. Make sure we have the full stitch. There we go. Slip stitch. Now every stitch. And again, we're doing this fairly loose. And you're just going to go all the way around. I'll meet you over here. Alright, now we're just going to one last little slip stitch through here and we're going to snip this off nice and long okay give yourself plenty to work with pull that through and just kind of tighten it like so okay we'll snip off that white we'll set all that aside for now <clears throat> I'll snip off the black too. <laughs> um, well, and actually here on the back side, what we'll do right now, this is all going to be hidden behind. And so what we'll do is we'll just kind of pull this over and then snip that here. And these pieces are all just going to hide behind when we stitch it on the hat. So we'll set that up here with our other lens. Now we're going to do this little gray lens. Okay, to make this little gray one, we're going to do another magic circle. This time we're just doing a single crochet to make it nice and small. So, oh, sorry, explain the magic circle again. Lay it in your hand, wrap it around, pinch it under that finger. Hook under, grab, pinch. Okay, we've got our two little pieces, or this little piece here, working yarn behind. All right. I'm going to chain two and now we're going to do nine single crochets into this circle. So a single crochet, you just pull through, you have the two on the loop and then wrap around and pull through. So we're going to do nine of those. So that's one, two, three, four, not my yarn over there. There we go. <laughs> Five. Six. This circle's a little big, so I'm just going to pull it a little bit tighter. There we go. Seven. Eight. And nine. Now we're going to pull this. So it starts coming closed. Slip stitch it in. Pull through. Pull through. I'm gonna snip that off. 
Nice and long. And we have our third little lens. Okay. So now we're going to uh, stitch it on all of these onto our hat. Okay. So first, I like to just kind of decide where I want them. Um, this is totally up to you where you want to position everything. Um, you can have this down here, or you can have it overlooking the orange a little bit. It's totally up to you. And yeah, so I'm going to pretty much just do it the exact way that I did um, this other hat. So we're going to start by stitching this um, large black lens on. And so we're going to come onto this side um, and you can either crochet this through or um, whatever you'd like to do. <clears throat> okay. Make sure that it's where um, this little white dot's where you want it and make sure the white is tucked behind and it's not peeking out anywhere. All right, so that is where I would like the lens. So now I'm going to get that hooked onto my tapestry needle. And now I'm just going to go along on this outer part and I'm going to stitch it into the hat. And um, as I'm doing it, I like to do stitches that are pretty close together. Um, it just helps it stick on very, stay on very well. And um, it won't it won't budge when it's when it's on there really nice so um, so yeah so just do these little stitches all the way around and that's how you stitch it on so I just finished stitching that on so now here's the inside and I'm just going to um, Bring it around here and tie a good little knot. And then I'm going to just hide that. Either weave it in and then just hide that strand here behind the lens. Snip it. This was from the center. Um, I like to just do a few good stitches in the center just to make sure that um, that doesn't bulge out. So we'll just do a few, a few little stitches in the middle. And um, then I'm just going to do uh, the same thing there. Tie a good knot. And then hide it behind and snip it. So we're just going to repeat this and um, do this for these other ones. So um, for this one I'm just going to use this gray. I'm going to choose where I want it. That's the spot that I like. I'm going to hook this in and Okay, and now I'm just going to stitch it, and for this I'm going to stitch along the gray all the way around, um, just so that it kind of hides that stitch and you can't really tell um, tell that I've been stitching it in. So you're just going to repeat what we did for this, for that, and um, you'll do the same thing with this one here. You'll pull that nice and tight, snip it off, and, and then stitch using this thread, stitch this in. So I finished stitching everything onto my hat and I think it turned out really good. So uh, now's a good time to just kind of turn it inside out, make sure that you're able to weave in all your ends. 
Uh, if you like this tutorial, please check out some of my other tutorials. Um, also, I would love to see a picture of your final product. Uh, check me out on Facebook and just comment on my page with a picture of your hat. I'd love to see how it turned out. Um, and yeah, so thanks so much for, for doing this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.